Look at that. That's less than 20 minutes. And this thing is already overflow. And this thing is swallow. up. So I'll come back in the morning and show you what's Greetings. I'm back. So today I'm going to do the CMOS or fi I'll finalize the CMOS. I started doing it, but I didn't finish. So let me finish it up. So I'll leave the CMOS to soak overnight. This one here is the white one. So we have the white one. But we also have the golden one. So this is the golden one. This is the golden one. If you can see it look different. They also have the purple one. So whichever one you have, just go ahead and use the one you have. Just soak it between four hours or overnight. I rather to soak mine overnight. And look how it swell up and looking nice. White one looking pretty. Golden one looking pretty. And if you had the purple one, it would look pretty also. So when I come back, I'm going to put some in the blender. And... Uh, Put some in the blender and blend it up. You can put cinnamon in there if you like. You can put fruits in there if you like. I like to do mine plain. Then I'll add those fruits later on. I regard whatever I feel like I'm adding to it on a particular day. So sometimes I might feel like adding mango. Might feel like adding pineapple. Might feel like adding uh, kiwi or any type of fruit. You can add it in there and have it. Or you can just feel like having a cup of tea. So you take a tablespoon, put in the teacup, throw the sea gel on it. No, put the sea gel first. Then pour the hot water. Then have it like a tea. So you can have it whichever way you like. Okay. So let's um, line up the blender and come back. Greetings. I didn't like how it looked. It did look, water did look a bit pale. So I gave it a second wash and a third wash to get it as clear as possible look, i don't like when the water look foggy so now it's looking very nice so now i will start all right first thing i'll do is i'll put a couple of sea moss in there maybe one big one like that big one like that because i'm not sure about the measurement the water measurement and and the, and the quantity so i think you should blend until you get the texture you want because it's very difficult to measure this right so i'll put that one in there i'll put a cup of water try and get buckled water either buckled water or filtered water or distilled water do not use the top water and if you don't have any other water maybe boil the kettle leave the water for cool down and then use that water all right Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna start with so that portion uh, and then I'll start with a 500 ml buckle water, right? If you don't have the buckle water, then you can get filtered water or whatever water and a pint. So you start with a pint. So you don't want it too soft. So I put a 500 ml in there and let me blend. Seal the thing properly. Start off slow. Bring it up. Well. Yeah. 
to turn the speed all the way up so I can get you as smooth as possible. See what the texture is like. Yeah, it's looking good, but I I need it a bit smoother than that. I need it smoother than that. So I won't add any more water. I'll just keep blending because it look alright. go and get my thing my stick I don't know what what this is called I forget what it's called but it helped me when I'm doing like nut butter and other things so shoot the thing down I like this thing here this thing I use for shoving it down so I'm gonna come back and then show you what it looked like while I'm pouring it out So now I blend it for a good five minutes. So I wanted to show you what it looked like. It's quite creamy and thick. Look at that. And that's how it's supposed to be. If yours is not like that, it can still use. But that's how it's supposed to be. Creamy and thick. Look how that look good. So now you store that in a couple of glass jars and keep it in the fridge. It should be all right in the fridge for two to three weeks. After that, you need to replace it. Or you could put it in a ice thing and freeze it. So I'll show you another thing you could do. I'll show you another thing you could do. These are some jars I have. So you could put it in a glass jar, cover it and freeze it and, and put it in the fridge. Or if you want to keep it longer than that, you get the ice tray, the thing that keeps the ice, but well, mine is full right now, so I can't use that. But the thing that keeps the ice in the, in, the, in the freezer, the little square or rectangle looking thing, you fill it up with it and freeze it. Then when you're ready to use it straight in your whatever you're making. So that's how it looks. Mm-hmm. Nice. Very nice. You can even eat it just like that because that's very nice. Let's say you drop a little honey in there. Drop a little honey in there and have it like that. Just a tablespoonful. It's good. Look at that. 
very creamy right there very creamy and nice that one I just have a I'll just have this tablespoon mm-hmm beautiful beauty beautiful all right thank you very much for watching and have a great day